A crack joke for like 40 minutes. I funny die. Worry. A city in South South Nigeria is not only known for its oil rich deposit, but also for its contribution to the entertainment industry, particularly the comedy circle, which has produced some of the country's most prominent humor merchants, including Alibaba, Akororo, Agodai, and Gandoki. Ogus Baba is also on the long list of entertainers who hail from the city and have created jokes inspired by the city and its people. I finished my secondary school in Wari and one day I just told my father that I want to move, I want to go to school and he told me that, but you've not written jam. I said I can do pre-science because then I... I just wanted to leave the shores of worry. I wanted to find, I just wanted to be in a place that I can really do comedy. So I moved to Enugu. I did pre-science, then I wrote jam. I got admission and I studied mass communication. But I am not a very special student in class, but my, my pen could not really, give, you know, I didn't, I didn't get much through my pen, but I got much through my tongue. Because when I was in university in Enugu, I started doing comedy professionally, even at my first year. And uh, I started doing shows. I started performing in big shows there, like uh, Michael Power Night. Um, some of the big shows they do, I, I just find myself on stage. Imagine Percy get this kind of leg. He said they go join army. Which army you want join with this leg? My guy carry this kind of leg. He go barrack. He said, what's your army? Now they put them. For Paris, Coast Club has called one attention. Artists, commander has called a turn, they look them. He said, one leg, not the normal for this place. I said, attention. Artists, I commander and come here and I say, where you come outside? I said, attention. Artists, he flog. Then they flog my guys. Ah, commander. No, they look the button and they look the lap. Worry and vernacular, which is popularly called Pigeon, he says, paved his way into the limelight. Few years ago, many comedians capitalized on jokes based on worry, which became a trend in the comedy circle. Ogus Baba explains why it is not so anymore. It tripped me when I see him for paper, I say I'm robber, go me to face. Those I'm robbers, they not get shame. They buy in hairborn. They still go meet a break in neck. But you know, they get people like RMD. Bros just come his RM. Um, I'm not about coming ass. Why well, I'm not about rich bros ass? Like, is there look calm? No, say some I'm not about the harsh person. See me, we shoot the leg. See me, we leave him. See this guy be like, we're fed you. No, be you, they ask him. See now, him, oh. Now one of the I'm not about say, come, 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 we enter picture. <laughs> Where you, I better let the gun show. Beyond entertainment value. Comedy has become a tool for social formation and enlightenment. However, Ogus Baba believes the region has been painted in dull colors by comedians such as himself. This, he says, has to change. On video people, most of them, they don't try. If you start Nigerian film saying, I get my what is that? You go die, and I get my, you go die. Imagine. And you know what is funny me for this film? If they are female, eh? for the music, they tell you the true story. Before, before you go see the climax, according to literature, the music that they tell you. Maybe like, if RM, they go US, Genevieve, the waiter, you go, yeah, something like this. He's coming back. He will be back for you. I say, wait till now they are when I want to release that ball, I'm not going to meet people when they work for a studio. I am one comedian that even when I speak, you know, you can detect that worry thing even from my English because I worry is in my blood. And I have done the little I could and I'm still doing more. Most of us do go back home to do shows. You know, before now, I, we do a lot of shows in Delta State. I've done Peace and Unity concert for Delta State government. And um, some of the comedians do go back home, even if it's not on TV or you don't see them on social media. We go back home to do comedy shows. We talk to our people. We've, 
we've traveled. Now we understand that it's not just enough to tell jokes, you know, because the jokes we tell there, uh, from uh, the, the, the jokes we tell about Delta, uh, Niger Delta are from worry, does not really tell good light about the place because they are negative things. When you say worry, not the carry last, not be just for fights. You have to be number one. You have to be the blessing of Kagbari of, you know, of the country. You have to come out well. You have to understand that our boldness should not be used for violence reason. We should not just believe that because we are from Niger Delta, we have oil, we produce money, we can fight for it. We should work for it. Although comedians often receive flack for telling jokes or airing opinions that are unpopular, Oguz Baba says many are still shying away from telling truth to power for financial benefits. We see scared. We are being um, hypocrites, hypo hypocritical about that. Because as a comedian, I believe most comedians have not done a lot. I watch Kevin Hart, I watch Chris Rock, I watch a lot of American comedians. You know, they, they are like, they are like the voice of the people. Ah, why this thing they go like this? Everybody are scared. But as for me, I believe I've done some little and I'm ready to break the rules because I, I, I want to be remembered for saying the truth. I don't want to say tomorrow and one political party will come here and say, be our spokesman and I'll start talking to, hey, I did hate them. No, I want to do comedy. I want to do comedy to the fullest. I want to break the rules. I want to cross boundaries. I want to say things. I'm not going to say things that are not, that people don't know. I will say things from the news, people, that, things that people know, but they are scared to say. Don't say basketball, they show, say be bowman. Now, they want to go basketball, that they don't say, you know, get pow, pow, not be power, oh. Pa! Basketball not get pa, let alone power. They not show a gun before I need that. Start to sing. You know who tripped me for that robbery scene? Now, basketball wife. Start to sing for no song with Igbo. Basketball go say, baby, so you can sing. He say, yes, so fuma, fuma. <laughs>